All right, now today is the last lesson of Algebra 2. It is natural logarithmic functions. Okay, natural logarithmic functions are this. All right, what if I had a number uh, y equals uh, e to the x? Now, e is a number that uh, is most significant in exponential growth or decay in that uh, e is just, it's a, it's a phenomenal number. It's basically what happens if I, I mean it's almost like series or sequence type of number in which I add 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth plus 1 fifth well no 1 plus uh, 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial and so on and so on and I just keep adding those and that's the actual sequence or the series that represents E so to ask that question now if we have it as an exponential guess what there's a logarithmic and it's going to be log base E of X equals Y Okay, and we're just going to turn that log base e into the natural log of x equals y. Okay, so just remember uh, log of a equals log base a. Okay, log is equal to log base 10. Okay, and natural log which is Latin, that's why it's the LN, is log base E. Okay, so that's the numbers we are dealing with. Now here's some equations to solve. Alright, so the natural log of x plus 3 squared equals 5. Okay, so something that looks like this right here. Alright, now when you have a natural log like this, you can actually get rid of it by raising, and this is a really cool method, is you can raise everything as though it was being put in the exponent of e. Okay. All right. Now what happens when you do this is that these two cancel out and this comes down in front. So what we're left with and this is a different type of method than what you're used to. x plus 3 squared equals now it's just e to the fifth and that's an actual number. Okay. So if we square root both sides we get x plus 3 equals now when you square root this this is almost like you're multiplying it the exponent by 1 half so this is going to turn into e to the 5 halves okay alright and then we just minus 3 from both sides so x equals e to the 5 halves minus 3 and I wasn't kidding when I said you're going to get some funky looking numbers for this section Okay, now for this equation, you're just going to want to solve it simple. So this will become 4e to the 2x equals 14 because I'm minus 2 from both sides. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by 4. And I, then that leaves me with e to the 2x equals 3.5. Okay, something as simple as that. All right. Now what I can do is, in order to get this one down, I can do the natural log of both sides. And trust me, it's going to be kind of funky fitting it in here. But I would do the natural log of both sides because guess what? The natural log of E cancels out to 1 and I can bring this down to the 2x. Okay, And I'll talk more about those properties in a second. So 2x equals the natural log of 3.5 and then we just divide that by 2 and x equals the natural log of 3.5 you make sure that this is in parentheses when you do it. Whenever you're dividing an entire log, put it all in parentheses. It just saves you a whole headache. Because you don't want to accidentally divide 3.5 and then actually have the wrong answer because you, you made a mistake. Alright, so some pretty simple stuff that I just used. If you raise, if you have like a natural log and you raise it into the power of E, okay, in other words this situation right here, what happens is that these cancel out to 1 and this x gets brought down. Okay, and if you have e to the x and then you do the natural log of e to the x, these cancel out and this just gets brought down to be just an x. So whenever you see this stuff, whenever I'm using these tricks, make sure you take your time to just work with it, 
to watch this video a couple times to see how it's done because everything in here is pretty easy it's not going to be as counterintuitive and yes you are going to have to read some more stuff but natural logs are a lot of fun to work with okay all right oh another thing uh, common logs most used by engineers natural logs most used by social scientists and scientists in general so that's the difference between the two and logs just used by every mathematician you can think of okay that's it for natural logarithms and I'll see you guys next semester bye